Now, she wasn't exactly a model citizen, according to court documents we've obtained. Alicia Fox, the mom, pleaded guilty to attempted felonious assault. The victim, another woman, says Alicia grabbed her hair, repeatedly punched her in the face while holding a steak knife in her hand, and even claims Alicia kicked her purportedly pregnant stomach. Um, you know, I, I have to say a couple of things occur to me. Adam Thompson, attorney out of New York, one, uh, two bullets to the head is personal, and two, she could have enemies. Yeah, she could. I mean, first of all, the fact of what happened to her in this case, really, you know, they shouldn't be looking back at what the, the prior criminal case she has is, because really one has nothing to do with, with, any, with, with the other. You could have a criminal background, but still be the victim of a crime in a new situation, and there's kids involved here, so it should really be separated. But... To do Absolutely. a real thorough police investigation, the fact that she may have enemies could be other suspects, other motivations of why she mm -hmm. was injured or killed. So they do have to explore those. And in this case, there was violence against a pregnant woman. Who knows if a boyfriend or the father of that child, the so child you just was born, I, I, With due respect, you happen. just contradicted yourself. You said, no, they shouldn't focus on it. And then you said, you know, it could be relevant. Let's run through the timeline. Alicia was last seen by her family at her mother's house uh, May 24th around uh, the Memorial Day holiday. A few days later, May 27th, 28th, a uh, neighbor sees them moving out using a U-Haul. The last contact anybody had was with Alicia June 3rd. She allegedly texts her ex, the father of her older, the six-year-old daughter. Uh, when Alicia and the kids miss the six-year-old's graduation, that ex reports the family missing. So I want to ask uh, Guy Tom Borders, you are an expert in missing children. I would think that the text on June 3rd would be crucial. Even if somebody else was pretending to be her, where that ping yeah. is hitting, absolutely. if it's in Detroit or some yeah. other place, would be absolutely crucial. Absolutely. And let me tell you the thing that really concerns me as well, Jane, is the fact that this happened around the time that she was separating from that father. And we know that in cases where there's domestic violence, typically that's a time when, um, you know, things happen, negative things happen. So I don't know if there's a history of domestic violence there. It sounds as though her family had some concerns about him. I don't know. He obviously hasn't been convicted or charged or anything. But these He's are not the even questions. considered a suspect. But yes, right. there's a lot of questions for him. Let's go to Dre, California. Dre. Dre. Dre, uh, just quickly, what do you have to say? And then we'll go to Ariba. Okay, I had a question. I was wondering why is it that the dad ended up all the way in Atlanta and the mom was found in Detroit? How well, did that, he get there? Where's the kids at? What's going yeah, on? You know, the, where's the kids at, Dre? That's the crucial, crucial question. Ariba Martin, attorney out of L.A., you wanted to say something. 